What does Windows 11 mean for developers? With Microsoft's launch of Windows 11 earlier today, we saw a big announcement, which means good news for developers, which in turn means good news for the end user. Developers, 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 developers. AJ here, and in today's video, we're gonna have a look at what Windows 11 means for developers and Windows as a platform. Microsoft announced that with Windows 11, Developers that are selling and publishing apps can continue to use the Microsoft provided commerce engine within the Microsoft store to make transactions, and they can continue to take advantage of the already industry leading revenue share where Microsoft only takes 15%. But even better, Microsoft announced with Windows 11, developers can now bring their own e-commerce transaction platform to the Windows store. And what this means is that Microsoft will take exactly zero, zip, zilch, nada, of the revenue when they use their own e-commerce platform. This is a developer first move by Microsoft, which is in stark contrast to how the other tech giants have been treating their developer community and is sure to get the attention of the likes of Apple and Google. To put it into perspective for you guys, Apple and Google take 30% revenue share of apps sold on their platforms. Microsoft on the other hand, takes half of this, which is 15%. And now with the big announcement, they have the ability to give all the profits back to the developers. I'm sure with this news, they're gonna get a lot of attention from Apple and from Google. And of course, there's gonna be a lot more developers looking to build and publish their apps on the Windows Store. But you gotta ask yourself, why such a drastic move by Microsoft? Well, since Satya Nadella succeeded Steve Ballmer back in 2014 as the CEO of Microsoft, Microsoft has been very open about supporting the wider developer community. It starts with our end-to-end -end developer tool chain. We're a company built by developers for developers first. I do however wanna pause there for a second and let you know there is one caveat to this 100% rule. And that of course is gaming. Microsoft is still gonna take a percentage of developer sales even if they use their own commerce platform when it comes to games. The only reasonable explanation I can think for when it comes to this is that the gaming industry as a whole is worth over $100 billion a year and with Windows and Xbox being two major players in the gaming industry, I don't think even Microsoft could justify foregoing that much profit in the highly lucrative and growing gaming segment. The other thing I wanna mention is that you can now run Android apps on Windows 11. It's not as straightforward as it sounds because you have to access the Android app via the Amazon store, which is integrated into the Windows store using Intel Bridge technology, which will allow your Android apps to run on Windows 11. So technically, yes, at launch, Android apps will run on Windows 11, but you'll be limited to the apps that are available on the Amazon store, and you don't have access to the large catalog of the Google Play Store. It also means that you'll be running your apps via translation using the Intel Bridge technology, so we'll see how smooth that experience really is. Don't get me wrong here, I think this is a really good starting point to help bridge the app gap between Windows and other platforms, but the question is how does Microsoft incentivize developers to start building and porting their Android apps directly into the Windows Store? Well, the answer to that is quite simple. It's offering the developer 100% of the profits when their app is sold directly through the Microsoft Windows Store. Running Android apps at launch on Windows 11 sounds a little bit messy, but I think Microsoft is making the right move by allowing developers to take 100% of the profits because it is more incentive now more than ever before for them to start porting and building their apps directly into the Windows Store. I do think it will be a while before we fully understand how this move is gonna impact Windows 11, but I think Microsoft is making all the right choices to make Windows 11 the best version of Windows yet by giving more back to the developer community. Let me know your thoughts about what Windows 11 means for developers in the comment section down below. Thank you guys for watching the video, and if you wanna support the channel, hit that subscribe button, Thanks again, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Developers, 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 developers. Yes!